friends, Mike here, the Healthy Type 1, and before I begin, I want to take this moment to say how much I appreciate those who have reached out to me regarding my mother. Uh, the love and support that I have from you is amazing, and I am just truly blessed to have you all in my life, so, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. But enough about me, let's move on to today's Health Bite, because that is why you're watching it after all. How to set mindful goals, and how to identify why we relapse. When we set goals, we tend to fixate on the end result we wish to achieve, it's natural. But is that being mindful of what our life is currently going through? Do you allow yourself to have room for relapse and growth? If you're expecting yourself to hit zero obstacles obtaining the goals you set out to achieve, you might need to reconnect with your human self. We make mistakes. We get very excited first trying out something new to improve our life. It is when we forget that relapse with any behavior is apparent though, unless you have a plan of action for the relapse itself. For example, something that I do with all of my clients is called a High Risk Solutions Worksheet. ACE, American Council on Exercise, offers a tremendously valuable method to learn more about an individual's risky behaviors. The idea is this, you would go over three to four risky situations that you find yourself in that enables you to do a negative or unhealth, unhealthy behavior. Once you have written those situations down, the next step is to identify what you can do to change the situation for a positive outcome. It really just helps us provide solutions to our problems. So here are a couple examples to help spark the idea. A high risk uh, situation for me is if I watch TV, that will lead to boredom snacking. And if I boredom snack, I'm much more likely to eat foods that will affect my health negatively. So a solution to this, for me, is I keep myself busy if I watch TV. I'll color, maybe I'll draw, read an article, anything to keep my body busy, as this again is something that I need to have. Another risky situation is if I drink coffee after 3 p.m., I'm much more likely to have poor sleep. So therefore, if I avoid caffeine after 3 p.m. and I'm, I'm setting myself up for greater success by making sure my mind and body are just more relaxed before bedtime. So think about some of those risky situations that you put yourself in and think about solutions that you can do if you need guidance or support, you know where to find me. I'm always here to help you. But that is something that you can do to start making yourself have more mindful goals. You just have to be more attentive to your daily actions. You need to look at what you are doing first before just making these challenging and sometimes even impossible goals to achieve. Otherwise, you have no plan for when those, situa those risky situations come up and bam, you've relapsed and are starting back over again and again. Now, as always, my friends, if you need further explanations, more research, or just someone to talk with about this stuff, drop a message below or shoot me a DM. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves and help others in any way that you can. Cheers.